problems with 25i in East Texas, at least not yet. Well, no, we're not. In fact, the emergency room here has not dealt with a single overdose case. Of course, that does not mean that 25i is not in the East Texas area. Local doctors are preparing to deal with it now, and they have a warning for parents tonight. Investigators in Dallas say three teenagers, two boys and a girl younger than 17, were rushed to two different hospitals after overdosing on drugs within a 12-hour window last weekend. They are not releasing any other information, but we've learned that two of the teens were found naked, one wandering along a busy local highway. Everyone knows who it was. Students at the high school there say news of the incident is making the rounds. Basically, the school, like Twitter and like social media are like huge deals. Like if you do something, like this school will know about it within like a couple minutes. The problem with that, doctors say, is that teens just don't realize how serious drugs like 25i can be. Here it goes. Especially since all it is is a drop of liquid on the tongue. It's been illegal in the U.S. since November of last year. I don't think children or teenagers have that understanding. They don't understand the consequences of taking something like this. They don't understand that it can kill you on the first time you take it or you become highly addicted to it. Dr. Brian Lowry says the addiction can cause long-term problems even if the user wants to get off of 25i altogether. And when you're coming down from it, then you have a real low where you can't sleep. Some people uh, talk about depression afterwards, um, and it can last for days. Worse, he says teens are usually trying 25i with other drugs like marijuana, alcohol, and even cocaine. Any of those can make the synthetic drug more dangerous than it already is. Some students say it's a wake-up call about the dangers of drugs. And that drugs are, like, really serious, and that you don't just, like, play around with it, especially when you're so young. And that is the point. It is young people trying 25i more than any other group and ending up in emergency rooms like this one. Tonight, doctors are telling us, talk to your kids because part of growing up, for better or for worse, is trying new things. This is scary for parents. All right, Field, are there signs for parents to look for? Something that would let them know maybe their child is using 25i? Well, certainly nothing specific. The things you want to watch out for, are just like with any drug use but that would be possible with your children, you want to look for changes in grades, changes in attitudes for going to school. If you get calls from teachers, things like that are all warning signs that something may be going wrong. Live in Tyler Field, Sutton, KYTX, CBS 19 News. All right, thank you, Field. Just when parents think they have it figured out, something new pops mm -hmm. out. And we talked with several local school districts today. None of them are reporting any problems at this point with 25i. But those with the district did tell us they are aware it's becoming an issue around the state. Around the country, at least 20 teenagers have died from overdosing on this 25i. It is scary. Mm. Well, a second